Hey guys, greetings. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Binal TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I hope you are doing well. I'm streaming this video also to my podcast. I want to give a shout out to those of you guys who have been listening to my podcast. I appreciate you a lot. Vinay TV or Vinay Tech Podcast is or Vinay Tech website blog is where we give people hack, where we talk about entrepreneurship, value creation, wealth creation. I'm a massive fan of someone creating a passive income to better his or her self. Okay. In this episode, we're talking about we talk about building wealth at every age. So, I wrote things down. We need to discuss. You know, there's never time to build wealth than starting from a young age. You know, it's never too um, old or too young to build wealth. The past year, from 2020, have shown us that one need to start to preparing himself or herself for retirement age okay and you can see that salary is not stable any longer due to this pandemic this is actually the reason why one need to need to develop a side hustle or side income to be able to subsidize to be able to maximize his or her potential to be able to also have something by the side that will help you in the long run. So, I, I, I mean, the main thing one need to actually get from this episode is about you starting now, starting today to build wealth. Start today to build a generational wealth for yourself, for your loved ones, and for your family. It's about starting today. Um, it's about starting today. The good thing about you starting today is already, if you start today, you are ahead of those who have not started at all or those who are waiting uh, for that magic line to show up at, you know, um, at finish line. So basically, you know, you starting today is basically the good thing about it. They'll save, they'll, they'll save us, you know, the book of anything you want to tell you is right time you start investing in start time it's right time for you to start creating work for yourself it's right time it, today is the best day you know it's like today is the best day for you to open youtube channel or today is the best day for you to look into that business you want to start okay so i want to tell you about you know most people build wealth you know building wealth you need to have patience Okay, you need to have focus, flexibility, and determination to build wealth. But also, you need to be tenacious in building wealth creation. You need to make sure that you know what you want to achieve or what you want to do or the plan you have or going forward. The essence of this is that evidence show that you know these days sometimes you know they expect you to go to school and get a job, but that is not finding your path. According to Robert Kiyosaki, will tell you, finding your path, you need to make sure you find your path as an entrepreneur, business owner, or as an investor. These days, going to a 9-to-5 job is not, isn't enough. With this pandemic, you need to find side hustles. You need to develop a side income and nourish that income, nourish that side hustle you are making. Hustle it, you know, push it all you know, stay focused, keep producing content, keep doing what you are doing. And before you know it, that side hustle will actually be your main sources of income. It's like myself, I started a YouTube channel as a side hustle. But I, I can tell you right now that, you know, I'm very proud of what we have achieved or how we have become. But the most important thing is about you creating value for others. You need to solve problems for other people. You need to solve problems. Your business idea needs to be customer focused and you need to be customer oriented. Okay, so I thought to let you know that the main thing to go about this is about investing. You know, it's about investing. Derek Craig, Andrew Craig, the author of Know Your Word, will tell you investing is actually the best thing you can do for yourself. And this is how the rich get ahead of 99% of us. The rich knows that, you know, you need to 
let your money work for you. You need to channel your money to avenue to the platform where it will work for you. If you leave your money in your bank, savings is okay, but saving alone will not make you to be rich, rich or you can create wealth by saving alone. You need to channel your money to other platforms that allow that money to roll over and maximize the potential to generate massive in passive income while you are home sleeping. I give you a good example. You need to create content, creating a YouTube channel. You know that you require a thousand subscribers, four thousand watch hours before you are able to monetize your content. And you monetizing your content is a passive income. It's a golden platform that you have something you are solving problem for other people, but also people are buying ad on your platform. So investing is another avenue, but you need to make sure that you know the company you want to invest inside that. You need to do the necessary research. Craig, who said that a lot of people struggle with investment is because they have not done the necessary research. This is how the rich get ahead of us. The rich are doing the research. They are there in the long run. They have focus, tenacity, and resilience to stay there. And also, investment is a risky business, I'm afraid. But if you don't your research, you know the volatility is in the market. But Warren Buffett will tell you, ignore all the hoopla, ignore all the noise in the market. If you know the company you want to invest inside out, you, the volatility in the market actually gives you opportunity to acquire more share from that company when it goes down. People make, do make a mistake, you know, jumping in the market when the market is already high, where there is euphoria. But as you need to go to, into the market where there is depressed in, in, in terms of up price, you need to do the fundamental, you need to check, do the technical analysis before you in, jump, jump into investing in stock market or start making investment. But investing is actually how to create what is part of the tools. So it's about working, but also using that your savings and channel it to a platform, buy asset. Robert Kesaki will tell you, you need to buy asset. And buying asset is actually what will make you to create wealth. You need to buy asset because also you need to, you know, move away from debt. Debt, there's a good debt and a bad debt. It's also trying to understand good debt is about your asset. Liability is about bad debt, your credit card. It's about you trying to understand that, you know, the reason why credit card is bad debt is they are charging interest to you. They are charging interest on daily basis if you own a credit card. Whereas if you use that money, for instance, an asset is where you acquire, you use your money, invest in a property or use your more money, invest in share or dividend or bond or anything that requires work for you, then there's something called compounding. You know, the more you allow your investment to grow, the more you increase in potential, but also you will receive dividend. So compounding will help people grow. This is how the, the money grow. This is how the income uh, grow, growing. So having investment, investing in dividend paying stock, investing in real estate, these are the things you need to do to be able to create wealth. Build wealth from every age is something that you need to understand. From a young age, you have time is with you. From 20 years old, keep putting your money where it would work for you. Take the necessary risk. And at the same time, you doing the research is actually what matters. Do the research and find out what you want to invest, whether that thing you want to invest, whether it's very high in price or whether it's low, but also find out how the demand and supply work. These are the things I want you to know that, you know, savings also budgeting is things you need to know. You need to not make necessary budget in terms of your spending plan, cut down your spe expenses. Also make sure that you write things down, how, what is coming in and what is going out. In that sense, it will give you a clear picture where you are financially. Also, building wealth at when you are 30, at this point, you should be able to seriously make it, channeling your money for investment or retirement. 
and you know retirement income you also need to build wealth you know have an asset where people rent your property for you renting property rental income is something that you need to do it's also something that you need to think about you know when you are in that age you know I also want to quote, echo that UK Chancellor Joseph Osborne when he was talking about, about, about every penny count. This is the reason why you need to make sure you write things down, you know, every income that you are receiving also ahead of, you know, every income you are receiving. Also check it against your expenses or making sure that you know what is coming in and also what is coming out. You know, the way people get ahead or the way the rich get ahead is their income or their earnings is more than their expenses so you need to make sure that you have side hustle do so many things that you can do in order to maximize your earning in order to maximize your income potential this is how the rich get ahead of the rest okay it's about creating income it's about having multiple sources of income ahead of your expenses if you write your expenses down, then you know that, you know, this is what I need to do. This is actually how I need to maximize my potential. It's about buying asset. It's about buying asset. I talked about credit card earlier. You know, credit card, like I said, they are charging you interest. But if you have or you borrow money from the bank and use it and channel it in into asset that you will be receiving capital appreciation, and also you receiving dividend from that asset for instance if you borrow money from the bank and put it into a property and you rent that property as someone live in that property that individual will be paying rent to you and along the line also you get capital appreciation capital appreciation is like if you buy a property twenty thousand pound right or two hundred thousand pound for example in two years time that property will no longer be that twenty thousand or two hundred thousand pounds you bought it it will possibly in, increase as far as property is concerned in UK here property you bought this year will always appreciate in value which is capital appreciation in five years time and uh, at the same time also you have someone living in that property and paying rent for for you you are using that individual rent that individual is paying for you and paying the mortgage company perhaps the mortgage company might give you this property or you have it on a mortgage on 800 quid or 800 pound a month and someone is leaving that property and pay you 950 pound or paying you a thousand quid in a month okay so use that 800 and pay to the mortgage provider so you're already making 200 quid you're already making 200 pound profit from that okay so this is this is how the rich get ahead of us it's about you doing your necessary plan it's about the foundation okay and also talk about creating wealth is about you doing the necessary research it's about building your portfolio from business owner and investment on platform you know robert kesaki will tell you that you know these days it's about you finding actually it's about the family you can you come from it's about also you know these days they expect you but they don't tell teach us this in the college they expect you to go to college get a good paying job but robert kesaki will tell you that these days you need to be able to move away from employee or self-employed and trying to channel your income generate your income from business area or investment those two platform is actually where to go those two platform is where you will create wealth is those two platform that will make you to be wealthy financial genius requires someone to know have the courage and tenacity make sure you are diligent savings also acquiring assets you know adjusting for retirement asset you are acquiring is it can be a landed property it can be a house it can be stock it can be any asset that is that will increase in capital appreciation if you buy a land today for instance i know if, if you buy a land today in two or three years time that land will appreciate the value will not be the same again so it's about you making necessary investment it's about channeling your income it's about channeling your income you know using your cash or savings short deposit savings channel it in a way that you maximize the potential or the income that that 
your cash will generate for you. It's about your buying asset. It's about buying assets. It's about follow focus. Tenacity is about also flexibility. The most important thing you need you need to take from this poor card is about doing the necessary research before you venture, before you invest in stock market, before you make any plan. It's about also cutting down your expenses. It's about also being mindful of your expenses, such as, such as credit card debt. These are the things or buy now or pay later. You know, these are the things you need to be mindful of. It's about making sure that income that is coming in you know is very high compared to what is going out you need to make sure that you know do the necessary checks and balances do the proper research before you venture into stock market or start investing in real estate it's also about flexibility anthony robinson the author of awakening the giant will tell you you need to be tenacious you need to be flexible it's about you need to have mind and focus do the necessary research also it's about you taking the necessary risk that is involved the rich take risk investing in stock market or building a business is risky sometimes it might not be successful but they say that evidence is the best teacher also it's about learning along the process you learning along the process is about you starting a business today you are ahead of those who have not started, like I said. You need to find your moat. You need to find your unfair advantage. You need to find what is going for you, what you have, the environment you are living, your experience, the school you, you went to, or your clique and people you associate with. What are they doing? You learn from them. So never be afraid of making a mistake. But even if you make a mistake, you learn from that mistake and move on. Like I said, you know, you are going a long way. You need to be flexible in business. You also need to be flexible in service. You know, the most important thing is, is about your starting today. Building what require one to start today. You know, having overdrawn or being into debt will not help you. It will hinder you. Okay. Because there's something compound. If you have a credit card debt, you know, on uh, that they are charging you five percent. Maybe you have credit card debt of sixty quid. Okay, they are charging you five percent in a year. That five percent will be sixty three pound. Okay, the cent year if you don't pay it up, it will also charge another five percent on top of that sixty three pounds. Okay, these are the things you need to understand that there is compound in. They are charging us in credit card, but also inside creating a business or creating income for yourself, you need to make sure that you are acquiring asset that will maximize in potential, that asset that will give you a passive income or cash flow. Generating your income or your cash flow from investment and business area is where to go. It's about you having a side hustle as, as well. I'm telling you right now, I have a YouTube channel, I have a blog, I have podcast, I also have full-time job as a qualified nurse here in UK. You know, these days it's about really what you want to achieve. You need to make sure that you once a source of income is not enough. It's about you creating multiple avenues, multiple sources of income. It's about also you doing the fundamental research. It's about doing the diligence. It's about also determination. You know, don't feel like, you know, it's investment is too hard to do or too risky it is risky if you have not done the necessary research if you have done the necessary research it won't be risky it will be easy the the reason it will be easy is you know you are creating a value you know you are making using your money for your money to work for you you can't have money and put it in a bank it will depreciate in value due to inf inflation you know, so it's about you really, if you have £1,000 in your bank account and leave it there one year, two years, it will not increase in the value. The interest they are charging you because the interest rate is 0. If we check interest rate in UK right now, I will tell you what is the interest rate, interest rate in UK. Interest rate 
the UK. Okay, uh, I want to make sure the interest rate in UK right now. So the interest rate is very low at the present time. Okay, 0 0.1. 4th February 20, the bank rate maintained 0 0.1, 0 0.1 percent interest rate in UK. Imagine if you have a thousand pound in a bank in your bank account, the interest they will charge or you will gain from 0 0.1 percent of a thousand quid is nothing. This is the reason why you need to put your money, channel it in assets, in investment where it will work or where you will get interest more. Sometimes. Companies do pay dividend 10%, 15%, even more than that, or 7%. So it's better off than leaving your money in the bank account where you will not get much. So this is what I want us to discuss today. It's about creating wealth. It's about making sure that you are doing the necessary things, preparing yourself, also making sure that your income is ahead of your expenses you are getting. This is how to go about it, okay? Thank you very much, guys. And uh, just a quick one I thought to comment and explain to you things one needs to do building well from every age. It's about being steady, focused, tenacious, tenac tenacity, and tenacious. It's about making sure that you are making the necessary plan, investing in stock market, real estate, acquiring a meaningful asset that will appreciate in value. This is how to go about it. Okay. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Please do consider to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. It helps us to grow. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed.